Hello, friends, family. I captured a quick video for all of you. We are at Kassan in Gitsan territory. An old Hazelton. Absolutely brilliant. We had spent some time with Dan Youngs and showing us the work he's doing as well as the community here. Absolutely brilliant. A truly a privilege and very grateful for this experience. Me too. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, friends. <laughs> The clan is represented on top of the poles, so there's the frog, the wolf, the fireweed, and the eagle. Dan Youngs. Dan is showing us the totem poles and telling us some stories. When I'm carving, I'll leave the faces last and work on the forms, and then I'll leave the eyes absolutely last. Um, it's a little thing I picked up, um, like the dragons, um, you don't put the eyes in it because it knows where to find you. Mm. And then on the boats, they have the eyes so it knows where to go. So using that same concept, I was leaving the pole to sleep while it's in its gestation period. Like this mm -hmm. is the pole being born and it's developing. Mm -hmm. So if I carved the eyes in there, it would wake up in its half time and go, ah, what are you doing to me? <laughs> so I, I let him sleep as long as I can. Uh, I and see. Then, yeah. then when we raise the pole, yeah. halfway there's a ceremony, a song and dance. So that's the labor, like wow. it's coming into the world. And then when it's completely raised up, that's it, born now. Mm. And what they did in the, in the old days was they'll throw berry juice, alcohol, or water on the pole and say Gibson, which means wake up. Mm. And that fluid also represents the amniotic fluid from the birth. Oh, wow. So it's all okay. so it becomes a being, it becomes a living thing yeah. when it's raised. And whatever happens to the pole is its life. That's like you now, your biography is told in the pole. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's, a, it's a living thing now. And whatever happens to it, if it falls down, there is one community where the pole fell down and it fell right across the road. And you can't touch it because that becomes the graveyard now. It's become much more sacred now. It's the graveyard for the pole. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they built a road around it and fenced, uh, fenced the pole there. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's a living being like, once it's finished. Come on in. You're going to miss the best part. I took off a big piece. Look, look, look. Oh no, you broke it. I have to start <gasps> over <laughs> again. <laughs> good, good, good. I think that's really good. Chocolate solved all world's problems. As you say, it's open for artists to use. And yep. Practice. Yeah, we've opened it all year round. Um, free coffee, free space, level floors. Um, and if you need help, there's usually one or two people around, you know, that want to learn. And um, this was actually the first school at Northwest Native Park. Hello, Hello everyone! everyone. We are here in Port Hardy, BC right now, um, just following up on our impromptu interview with Dan Youngs in Kassan Village, located on Gitsan territory. What did we learn? We learned a lot about uh, carving, we learned a lot about totem poles, storytelling, uh, history, and it was a really great experience, very impromptu interview that we shared, uh, that we're very grateful for. One of our highlights, I would say, as we're traveling north, we hope to have more, many more experiences like this. Exactly. All right, let us know what you think, share some feedback, and we'll talk to you soon. Choo. Choo.